booktube it's the and i'm here with my january book haul so for january uh, my book haul is pretty decently sized it's four books uh two books came from book of the month this is was a full price pre-order which i hardly ever do and this is my book club book so uh let's go ahead and dive right in and i'll show you guys what i got for january uh, the first book that i picked up in january was my january choice for book of the month from book of the month and that is topics of conversation by miranda popke this is miranda popke's debut novel i don't know too too much about this um i know that it's like short story collections it follows women as they tell stories about art pain loneliness motherhood desire feminism anger guilt envy um, and I've heard really good things, so I'm very excited to dive into this very, very soon. And the second choice I got for book of the, the second book I picked up for book of the month is A Woman Is No Man. This I actually was able to get for free because I am a book of the month BFF, and at the end of the year when they announce their five nominees for book of the year, you get to pick one for free. Um, and I've heard really great things about this, so this is the one I went with. This follows three generations of Palestine American women, um, and that's all I really know. It's kind of... It's not, it's not like women's like chiclet. It's more like historical and literary fiction. Um, but as far as like the specifics of the book, I don't quite know. Uh, it says here, it says Palestine, 1990. 17-year-old Isra prefers reading books to entertaining the suitors her father has chosen for her. Her desires are irrelevant. However, over the course of a week, the naive and dreamy girl finds herself betrothed, then married, and soon living in Brooklyn. There, Isra struggles to adapt to the expectations of her oppressive mother-in-law and her strange new husband, Adam, a pressure that intensifies as she begins to have children, four daughters instead of sons, he is expected to bear. A pressure that, I, that intensifies as she begins to have children, four daughters instead of the sons, Isra is expected to bear. Brooklyn, 2008, at her grandmother's insistence 18 year old Daya must meet with potential husbands and prepare herself for marriage though her only desire is to go to college her grandmother is firm on the matter however the only way to secure a worthy future for Daya is through marriage to the right man but fate has a will of its own and soon Daya will soon will find herself on an unexpected path that leads her to shocking truths that will force her to question everything she thought she knew about her family, the past, and her own future. Set in an America at once foreign to many and staggeringly close at hand, A Woman is No Man is a story of culture and honor, secrets and betrayals, love and violence. It is an intimate glimpse into a controlling and closed cultural world and a universal tale about family and the ways silence and shame can destroy those who have, we have sworn to protect. Um, I'm really excited to give it a read and I've heard really, really, really amazing things about it. So hopefully I can get to it very soon. My book club books choice for February is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. This is an older release. Um, I want to say it came out in like 2017 or so. Um, this follows Princess Lyra. She is a siren royalty. She's kind of like revered among the sirens. Um, she is also the most le lethal of them all. Um, she has 17 princes, uh, 17 like princes in her collection and um, something happens and it forces her to kill one of her own. And then uh, to punish her, the sea queen transforms her into a human and she has until the winter solstice to uh, deliver the prince's heart to the sea queen uh, or she is human forever. And then um, that's pretty much all I know about it and I'm super intrigued to give it a read. And the last book I acquired for January is my pre-order. I am so, so, so excited. I haven't pre-ordered a book in so long, um, but this is one of my like highly, highly anticipated releases for 2020, and that's Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. I am so, so, so excited that this is in my hands. Um, it's a signed first edition. My uh, independent bookstore here in my city is also one of the ones offering like the pre-order campaign. So I got these little like posters and it says everything I touch burns. And then I also, um, entered into the epic reads pre-order giveaway so i should have a little like pin coming soon but i am so 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 excited to pick this up i don't know when i'm gonna get to it but i am so excited it's adam silvera's like debut fantasy novel i 
have been following his journey on writing this and talking about it for so long and I am so excited that it's finally here um, but I am so excited if you don't know what it's about it follows these two brothers it follows these two brothers Emil and Brighton um, and they've kind of grown up idolizing what they call the Spellwalkers, a village Lanty group sworn to protect the world from specters. And uh, while the spe Spellwalkers and other Celestials were born with supernatural powers, specters take them, violently stealing the essence of endangered magical creatures. A gang of specters in growing, is growing bolder by the day, and the fear they sow is making it harder for anyone with powers to live peacefully and openly in the world. Shortly after their 18th birthday, Emil and Brighton are attacked by a specter, and in trying to defend his brother, Emil manifests a power that shouldn't be possible. Phoenix fire. A power that only a specter can have. Convinced that he is the key to finally ending the war, the Spellwalkers want Emil to join their ranks, and they're willing to take Brighton too, if that's Emil's condition. For Brighton, even if he's powerless, the, change to, the chance to fight specters with his heroes is a dream come true. For Emil, the constant fighting and the painful new power is a waking nightmare. Much as they hate to admit it, the brothers are faced with an undeniable fact. One of them has what it takes to be a hero, but it's not the one who desperately wants it. I am so excited to pick this up and I love everything that M. Silvero touches and everything that he has his name on. Um, and he's one of my favorite authors and I'm so excited to read his first fantasy novel. So here is so here is the four books I acquired for January. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys bought for January, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're well. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.